What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, basic introduction to part configurations in a part studio in Onshape. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already, and comment down below what you thought of the video, share this video with other people who may uh, find this helpful. Now without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in the parts studio right here. For this demonstration, I'm going to be making a configurable shaft. Uh, I have, I'm in a robotics team and we use uh, shafts of different sizes, um, but they tend to be a quarter inch um, diameter, but they can be one, two, three, four, or five inches long. So instead of having to create uh, multiple parts studios with those shafts, we can just have one part studio and then in the assembly we can edit um, what size we actually want the shaft to be and what diameter size diameter we want the shaft to be So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create variables So right here, it's the variable button right here variable button and then that is basically What the variable button does? So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna name this it's gonna be a length you have length angle number any so length would be what we're using just for uh, this case right here um, angle would be like, you know, like just anything in degrees I, I believe you can do radians too. You have to specify though number would be a quantity For example, if you're doing linear or circular patterns, you would have to be doing uh, Using a number and then any would just be any value I'm gonna name this shaft length So this is gonna be the length of the shaft how long it is I'm gonna put the default at one one inch because my workspace units are set to inches notice how i didn't put any space between shaft and length because if i do it'll give me an error so i recommend you don't do that just um don't leave a space in your variables you can use camel case like i did here or you can just spell it out uh one big word like i did so click check now we're going to do another variable we're going to name this shaft diameter which is, you guessed it, the diameter of the actual shaft. I'm gonna put it as a quarter of an inch, so 0.25 inches as my default value. And they're gonna be set as the default value for the configuration later. You'll see, you'll see later on in the video. Now that I've done my two variables, now I can start building my shaft or uh, modeling my shaft. The reason I did these variables first and then started modeling my shaft was because if I did these after, uh, they would be undefined after making the shaft, so it wouldn't work that the dimensions would not be recognized Like uh, I would not be able to use these in my dimensions um, If they were made after because technically before they didn't exist So I'm gonna create a sketch on the front plane shift s I'm gonna make a circle Right here dimension that and instead of saying 0.25 inches, I'm gonna start typing in shaft diameter. You have shaft length and shaft diameter. Just click one or just hit enter. You have shaft diameter and hit enter again. And now your circle is 0.25 inches or a quarter of an inch. And that's what you need right there. Now we're gonna extrude shift E or click the checkbox and then click this button right here, shift E. Basically, this is one inch long shaft. This is a one inch long shaft, but here for the depth, for the depth, because that's how long the shaft is gonna be, I'm gonna to start typing in shaft length, one inch, and it's gonna be one inch. You click enter, and you're good to go. Now your shaft is one inch, one inch uh, long and a quarter inch wide. I'm gonna rename my part shaft real quick. And I'm gonna change the color. To this all right now we have this shaft we also need to do the D cutoff here because the shafts these shafts that we use in robotics generally have a D cutoff which means that I guess it looks a little like a D the top part of the shaft is cut off so I'm gonna do that right now and then we're able to uh, based on how big it is we're able to um, change when we change the diameter of this thing in the configuration the D cutoff should still be the same which is uh, 0.9 times the diameter of the actual shaft 
I'm gonna create a sketch on this face, Shift S. And then I'm gonna do a line and an arc. <laughs> Now we have to define the distance between this line and the bottom of the circle. So you do hit our D key. So click on the line and then click on the bottom of the circle and then move it out. This is 0.182588 or 68 inches. Um, so now we're going to change it to what we actually need it to be, which is uh, for this case, the quarter inch shaft needs to be 0.225. But instead, we're going to uh, we're going to be typing in shaft diameter, and then times use the little asterisk, and then 0.9. You click enter, and now it is automatically set to 0.225. Have to extrude it, of course. I'm going to remove this, remove material, and I'm going to remove it through all. All right, so to show you that this actually works, like this D cutoff stays the same ratio, I'm gonna change this shaft length right here, or excuse me, I'm gonna sh uh, change the shaft diameter right here to, let's just say 0.5. Enter, boom, it stays the same uh, ratio. And as you can tell, it changed it in the whole uh, shaft. I'm gonna change this back, all right. Now we have our shaft with the D cutoff. Now it's time to configure this part. So what you do is right here on this right hand side of your screen, you see three circles and then a cube in between brackets and then a cube with a table. It, this, the cube with the table is the configuration panel. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna con configure your part studio so you can basically change the dimensions based on the configurations from an assembly instead of having to go over to your part studio and manually change them. So first click on this drop down, and we're gonna make a configuration variable. This configuration variable, we're gonna call it uh, length. We're gonna name it length. And then we're, the default is set to one inch. Our default uh, for shaft length is set to one inch also. And the minimum is zero, the maximum is 1000. I'm gonna put the minimum as 0.0001. Um, because zero, a value of zero would probably give us an undefined value. Click check. And after all, you probably won't need a shaft that small. And we'll just leave this maximum at 10,000 inches. Who knows, maybe you'll need a shaft that's 10,000 inches long. I don't know. But here we have, this thing is all set. It's a length. The name is length. And we're good to go. Click check. No features are configured. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go into our shaft length variable and we're gonna start typing in length and then tab and then enter and then update it and then you're good. Notice how it says length, it says usages shaft length value. That means the configuration is in the shaft length. Now notice how here up here it has a new uh, panel configurations, length one inch. So now you can easily change this. You can say two inches and it'll change it to two inches or 0.5 inches and it'll change it to 0.5 inches but the default will always be one inch when you insert it into the assembly but from not it's faster to configure it or to change the part from this configuration panel than it is to having to go directly into the variable and actually having to change uh, whatever dimensions you need to change we are going to do the exact same thing for the shaft diameter so another configuration variable. And then we're just gonna start type, uh, we're gonna type in diameter because these are what, these are the values that are gonna show up in the assembly when you hit the I key and you insert the shaft, that's what it's gonna show up. So uh, make sure these values right here, like length and diameter, they're easy for you, the user, user to understand. So that way you see, okay, that's what that uh, value does and that's what that other value does. So the default is one inch, but I'm gonna put it at 0.25 because like I said before, we normally work with quarter inch shafts. Minimum, I'm gonna put at 0 0.0001. Again, you don't have to do this, but I do this just to kind of keep a limit on myself. So that way I don't go to zero because zero would just not even exist basically. Leave it at 10,000 inches and then you click check. 
it says no features are configured so you go over here to your shaft diameter and you edit your variable and you start typing in diameter you tab that you hit enter and then now you have your diameter and your length configured so to prove it to you i can change this to 0.375 inches it'll change it to 0.375 inches 0.5 0.125 and the list can go on so I'll just put this back to 0.25 so mo most shafts uh, well actually not too many shafts have a D cut off but there are shafts that have a D cut off and shafts that don't have a D cut off right so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to have an option where you can have this D cut off or not have this D cut off because you may not need it so you're gonna add a configuration input and we're, instead of a configuration variable, we're going to do a checkbox. And the checkbox input, we're going to name D cut. Off. This is going to be an option to toggle the D cut off on and off, on or off. Now you click, this says configure features, so you click on this plus. Now let's go to our extrude two, which extruded our D cut off, and we select unsuppressed. Now you see this uh, checkbox shows up right here. So I'm just going to click done right here and then I'm going to edit it from here. So when it's unchecked, this value is going to be unsuppressed. When it's checked, this value is also going to be unsuppressed. That's not what we want. So what we want is when it's unchecked, it's going to be suppressed, right? Because that means you don't want to de cut off. But when it's checked, you want it to be suppressed. I don't know excuse unsuppressed sorry so right here no check means that this is suppressed no d cut off the check means that this is unsuppressed i'm also going to yes it's going to be our default value so now if you go here you see it has d cut off and it's checked but if i remove the check there is no more d cut off let me just hide that sketch there so you can toggle the d cut off on and off and then now you can easily configure your part studio without having to go into all the independent features and editing them. It's much faster from the configuration, so it makes your life much easier in a part studio. Now I'll show you in the assembly basically how um, you're going to um, insert these shafts and how you can use them. So I'm going to hit the I key or the insert button. And then I'm just going to insert this shaft. As you can tell, it shows up this menu right here. So it says length is one inch, diameter is 0.25 inches, and then you have your shaft. So let's just say I want it to be two inches instead and have the same diameter with a D cut off. I click generate and then I click the shaft and it automatically inserts my shaft. I can click check. So now I have a shaft. I can copy this shaft, control C and paste it control v and then i can change the configuration like this change configuration to let's just say four inches with a half an inch diameter and no d cut off generate boom you have a new shaft now you can also copy the same shaft control c control v and then you can do this, select instances with same configuration. They're both the same. And then after that, you after you got them both selected, you can delete them or let me just do that again. Select instances with the same configuration, same configuration and change configuration. And then you can add, let's say a D cut off and you can make this 0.375 inches and then click generate, click the generate button and then it automatically changes them again and then this is uh, helpful if you have many of the same shafts in a um in an assembly and you don't want to have to individually change the configuration for all of them you can do it all at the same time and save a lot of time and energy i hope you guys enjoyed this video and certainly don't forget to check out all my other videos especially my on shape videos uh drop a massive like on this video like i said before uh share this video with people who may find this useful comment down below if, if you have any other suggestions for any other videos especially on shape related videos that i can do and i appreciate you guys for all your support as always thank you for watching